2002, we had Sue for the very first time, and it was wildly popular. So what we decided to do is to bring her back. What was neat about this is that a lot of the kids that saw this in 2002 are coming back with their children, so it's a, a generational thing. A whole new generation has seen Sue. It's been wildly popular. We've had over 60,000 visitors. Sue is the largest, most complete T-Rex skeleton ever found at 43 feet long and 13 feet tall at the hip. Um, which is a very impressive size, and it just blows your mind how big this dinosaur was. Sue used to be thought of as a dinosaur that was standing straight up, but what it turns out is that it's more lizard-like, actually. T-Rexes are more horizontal, and, and if you look behind us, this is a more modern posture where they're leaning over and the tail is kind of horizontal along the ground, which helps balance the large head. So Sue the Exhibition, um, a T-Rex named Sue, got the name Sue because Sue Hendrickson found her in uh, South Dakota. A paleontological group got together and were looking around and she was the only one at the time of the finding and they wanted to honor her so they named T-Rex Sue. This exhibit has lots of components that are interactive, but what we did as the Florida Museum, we added a component to this where people can add bones to a model of a dinosaur, and it allows kids to find the bones and kind of figure out where they are on the animal body. The other really, really fun part about this exhibit is the dig pit, which is filled with full-size, full-scale Sioux bones, but they're made of a lighter material, so they're not heavy to pick up. And one thing is to actually look through the eyes of a T-Rex to see the vision they would have seen and compared to a prey animal, because prey animals often has eyes to their side where a T-Rex would look straight on. And it's just a neat perspective to see um, how a dinosaur would look upon the world. We've gotten the most incredible comments from our visitors talking about, I saw this as a child and now I'm bringing my son here and he loves it and it's just, it gives me chills to hear the stories. People are pretty amazing. Uh, that is worth it right there to have this exhibit.